Hey guys, this is Manak, and today we are going to see the detailing of slab. So basically, we all know how to design a slab. If you want a video on that, we can show you. Also, you can design slab manually. You can design slab using RCDC. Uh, you can use Excel sheets. All these procedures are mentioned in my videos. And uh, now today, I'll show you how to detail uh, the slabs and how to provide or how to make the drawings in such a way that we can, uh, these drawings can be executed in this site. And this video can also be useful for those who are, in, you know, at a site and uh, site engineers that want to know how to execute the uh, reinforcement drawings of a slab. So without wasting any time, let's get forward and uh, let's see. So basically what you are seeing is this is a typical uh, floor level, which, which, is, which you are seeing here. You can see this is a slab framing, a second floor level. And uh, you have a cross here. This cross means that there is no slab here. So there is a staircase here. So that's why there is a cross here. And in this place, you can see there is, uh, you know, an opening here, or you can see OTS are open to sky here. So there is no uh, slab here. And similarly, in this, in this case, also there is a staircase here. So in the places where there is a staircase, there will be uh, no you know, slabs here. Sometimes there may be sunken slab also, but in this there, is, there are no sunken slabs. This is a slab framing plan, pretty uh, simple in that. You have the columns, we have the uh, zones, and we have no which slabs marks. So you can see the marks here for all the slabs, S1, S2, S3. Three types of marks are there, means there may, may be three types of different uh, reinforcement, the three types of different uh, depths also. For the slabs, yes, in big projects, you can have slabs with multiple types. Suppose we have slab, it as suppose if we have S1 is 150 mm, S3 can be 200 mm also. So let's see what the details here. So the next thing, I'll just quickly uh, just take you through this one. Uh, before that, I'll just uh, take, uh, take you through the details. Uh, the slab reinforcement stage schedule prepared here. As you can see, S1, 10 uh, uh, bar has been used. Okay, and the spacing is 150. So, uh, you know, I made this and try to make it uh, as simple as possible so that it can be executable at the site. You can provide different spacings for the top bar and bottom bar. I try to, when I, whenever uh, I make the detailing, I try to make it pretty simple and round it up so that it is a little bit easier. Uh, if not, the, you know, there is not much difference in economy. Okay, so S1 is 150 mm, S2 is 200 mm, and S3 is 175 mm in depth. And you can see the you know reinforcement arrangement C1, T2, B1, B2. So there are two bars in the top and two bars in the bottom. We all know that in the slab it is there. Okay, so how these are arranged? Let's look. So this is the I prepared a typical uh, you know arrangement of reinforcement of slab. So let's zoom in in the reinforcement here. So you can see here this is 0.15. This is the extra top actually. Let's do the top bar first. Okay. So along this, there is 0.15 LY. What is LY? LY is definitely this length. Okay. This length is LY. Okay. And you can see LY here, and you can see LX1 here. This 0.5 LY1. Okay. And this side, this side, this is 0.3 LY1. Why? This is the discontinuous side. So along the discontinuous side, you have 0.15 LY1, and along the continuous side for the extra top, you have 0.3 LY1. Pretty good. This is pretty much sorted. And now let's look at the bottom bar. So the bottom bar along the shorter side, it will go continuous from end to end. And along the longer side also, it will go continuous along the end to end. So there are different types of arrangements of providing this reinforcement, but the simplest and the best uh, in my option is this one. You can, you know, no crank, no nothing, just simply providing the, you know, bottom reinforcement all through and the top reinforcement, you know, like this, you know, we have, uh, you know, have, have a L, you can say or a hook and you have the top reinforcement you can argue that this portion of bottom reinforcement is not required and this is extra this may be extra but you know this say this even this uh, wastes a little bit of reinforcement but you know it is safe and it is also easier to make no bending or cranking required and uh, you can uh, be more you know i, I would i would argue if you could, uh, you know, take the labor cost labor uh, into consideration also you can this is pretty much simpler and best for you know, uh, big projects are being building. So you can follow this type of arrangement. I will also show you the crank arrangement also in a separate video, but I will, this this one in showing this. So you have the uh, bars here. When the bars, uh, we have the 150 mm uh, center to center distance, both the you know, bottom bar and the shorter bar. You can see the slab section along the shorter section. So if you can see, this is the this is the long section, LY1, and this is the LX1 in the shorter section here. So if you just cut along the shorter section, here like this then this will be the arrangement okay and if you cut along okay i'm just showing you uh 
how can i show you or anything comment okay so if you cut along the uh, along this along the shorter section or perpendicular to the shorter section along the shorter section then your reinforcement element, element will be the one which i have shown right now and if you cut along the longer section that is the along the longer section will be this one okay let me just use a separate color can i okay let me just use that you will understand okay if i use cut along the longer section like this then it this will be this one nothing if this will be changed only you can see in place of t1 you can see t2 in place of t, uh, t2 you can see t1 similarly in the bottom you can see p2 and d1 in these two places so you can simply the simplest way to design the slab is you can purchase a good excel sheet uh, which designs the slabs or you can do it manually also uh, first if you want to learn then do manually and then you can prepare your own excel sheet or you can purchase many uh, suitable excel sheet here available and then you can design the slab and then you can uh, make uh, the groups and you can follow this pattern for almost all the slabs now you can see this is the one way slab uh, let's uh, take the example of one way slab also here i have a typical slab element i've shown 0.15 ly and point so in one way slab the extra top reinforcement you can see only along the longer span okay only parallel to the longer span or along the longer span you can see the extra top part along the shorter span or parallel to the shorter span there is no extra top in bottom reinforcement there is no difference so the only difference in the one way slab is that the extra top reinforcement we are having only at the longer span in the uh, in the shorter span we are not having but what else what if you want to give if you want to give this is extra there is no problem in that from the structural point of view there is no extra reinforcement also there is no over reinforcement also no problem but uh, this is uh, simply you know uh, you know you can see uh, sorry but uh, here they have provided for, for the one rest lab because uh, 0.3 l3 they have provided okay for the extra extra you know this uh, one rest lab also extra top they have provided because there is a adjacent two rest lab there so they have provided in all directions and you will be to isolate then uh, that then that will be the case for the cantilever but you know you can give you can give uh, you know I, I probably must have given because you know there is no harm in giving you know extra top reinforcement in one step also because sometimes you might change or something there is no harm for, for you know for giving just to keep your uniformity you can give but from technical point of view the point earlier uh, we, we are told this is true but uh, a practical insight you can give extra reinforcement for both uh, you know both the direction the shorter and, and longer direction also uh, you can give so basically if you see in this drawing there is not much difference uh, between the one way slab and the, the not any difference in fact one way slab and the two way slab and you can see in this direction there is this continuous so 0.15 and 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.3 and suppose you have cantilever here then in, in, in place of cantilever then you should give 0.3 okay because this is continuous also uh this you can give and you can see 0 0.15 0 0.15 l so this is basically this and this is pretty much uh, this and this is the depth here which is given so slab reinforcement diagram basically the both for the bottom bar that is pretty simple bottom bar there is no you know this is there is no difference uh simply this is laid down normally and for the top bars there is extra top in both direction Practically, if you see in almost in all the sides, you see extra top in both the directions. Now let's see, uh, you know, one uh, example at the side so that we can understand. So if you can see uh, this particular uh, slab, you can see uh, the bottom. The reinforcement is going on through. You can see the uh, reinforcement going on through. We we'll zoom in. This is the top reinforcement. So this is the you can see the uh, if you just see this uh, drawing. And if you see this B, B1 and B2, so B1 and B2 for both the bottom bars, they are going here in this portion like this. And both the T1 and uh, T2, the top bars, they are this one. This is T1 and T2. So these are going like this. So you can see in the span, the in the middle, there is no top uh, top bars. So if you ask uh, what happens, we just provide, uh, you know, double re layer reinforcement also, you can provide. There will be no extra reinforcement also, but we provide, uh, but if you, uh, it will be waste, but if you provide, then there is no fault, and there will, there will be no you know wastage also. But you can see in all the slab in the practical, you can see in the middle there is the gap. So why there's the middle there is the gap? So in this pen, the extra input came there like this. The extra input came like this in this pen, and in the middle there is the gap. So there is like this in, in cantilever also usually provide you know uh, this reinforcement uh, like this uh, you know double reinforcement like this and in some cases in this there is no scope here because you can see there is so much density of the reinforcement also 
in some cases we also provide reinforcement in the corners for you know avoiding punting shear in uh, like this in in in, in at the corners here we also provide but here already there is so much reinforcement that this is not required and you can see in this case also the extra reinforcement if you look closely an extra reinforcement from this side extra re top reinforcement from this side but the bottom reinforcement you can see this is there and you can see here and here as well you can see you can see the extra reinforcement coming from this side extra reinforcement coming from this side and this side and at the center you can see this is empty so like this you can provide the extra reinforcement on the side hope this helps if you have any doubt feel free to comment and don't forget to like it because this encourages me to upload more videos thank you for watching keep learning bye bye